At Granger, we're for the ones who specialize in saving the day and for the ones who've mastered the art of keeping business moving. We offer industrial grade supplies for every industry with same day pickup and next day delivery on most orders, all backed by real people ready to help. So you can get the right answers and products right when you need them. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW group void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Hey, all. Welcome back to the Real Life Pharmacology Podcast. I'm your host, pharmacist Eric Christensen. Thank you so much for listening today. As always, go to ReallifePharmacology.com. Get your free 31-page PDF on the top 200 drugs. It's a great resource. It'll be a great uh, refresher for you to make sure you know the most important clinical practice pearls uh, regarding those top 200 drugs. Uh, also, these are things that I've seen uh, show up throughout my career in pharmacology exams and, and board exams. So uh, you'll definitely want to take advantage of that uh, free resource. Simply an email will get you access to that. Also get you updates when we've got new content and new podcasts available. All right, with that said, let's get into the drug of the day today, and I'm anticipating this podcast might be a little bit shorter uh, than some of the other ones because we don't have as many clinical uh, quirks and pearls uh, with this specific medication. So without further ado, the drug of the day is cymethicone. Uh, This is an over-the-counter medication, and I do see it used uh, definitely somewhat common uh, in assisted livings and long-term care facilities, uh, I, I definitely see it periodically used as needed for patients who are ha- having trouble with excessive gas. Um, brand name of this medication, probably the most common one I see is Gas-X, uh, but there's Milicon. Uh, anything labeled gas relief or anti-gas, if you look at the back, it's typically going to be uh, cymethicone. Now, it may be combined with other ingredients, that type of thing. Uh, but in general, if you ever see uh, anti-gas or low gas, reduced gas uh, in uh, the label or the, the packaging, um, you're probably going to have uh, cymethicone in it when you look at the back of the labeling there. So ultimately, this drug reduces uh, gas retention, which you know that excessive gas can obviously produce uh, flatulence. Uh, as well as uh, discomfort and maybe a bloating type feeling. Um, That is the primary use, and it's used on an as-needed basis. Uh, Dosing for that is typically 40 to 125 milligrams, uh, four times a day as needed. Usual max dose is 500 milligrams per day, and again, that's for adults. Uh, With that said, it's also used occasionally for um, bowel prep. Uh, The reason being it it might be used for there is it may help um, create a better visual field with endoscopy uh, as we're trying to visualize the uh, inside of the the colon, the intestine, things of of that nature. Uh, Cymethicone may help reduce some of those gas bubbles and may help with visualization. So you may see it used as part of a, a bowel prep regimen and depending upon you know what the um, GI specialist or whoever's doing the the prep is, is trying to look at, um, they may or may not include it. Uh, one other thing that, that comes up is uh, colicky babies, colicky infants. Um, I'll talk about this in a little bit, but that is a potential indication as well. Weight and age-based dosing. So I'm not going to go through all that, but be sure to double check and look that up if you're using it. Patients, um, you know, under the age of 18, under the age of 12, and and so on and so forth. So um, pay attention to that. Multiple dosage formulations. 
so we've got caplets, we've got chewables, we've got uh, liquids, um, definitely lots of uh, different formulations. Uh, all of them are, are typically going to be used orally because that gas is in the GI tract. That's what we're uh, really focusing on. Mechanistically, this drug works by uh, basically eliminating or reducing the surface tension of uh, gas bubbles. And by reducing that surface tension, obviously that makes those bubbles kind of dissipate and uh, disappear. In general, um, I wanted to go back to the indication of colicky infants. Um, in general, it is not recommended for colicky babies. Uh, I have seen it tried um, with you know varying degrees of, of success, I would say. Uh, the American Academy of Pediatrics uh, labels it in general as a safe medication, obviously as long as appropriate dosing is utilized. Um, but they also label it as ineffective. So in my mind, I'm typically not going to recommend uh, using cymethicone in uh, babies who are colicky. Adverse drug reactions. Uh, this medication is inert. There's really going to be no systemic absorption. Uh, so any adverse effects are going to be related to the GI tract and Really, not many are ever uh, reported as far as that goes. So, again, no systemic absorption. You're, you're likely, uh, not likely to have any uh, type of significant adverse effects from it. Now, I do want to talk about um, some lifestyle changes and things. I think this is a good way to, to bring it up with cymethicone. Um, there are definitely some foods that can significantly increase gas. Obviously, first and foremost are, you know, carbonated beverages. Um, that may increase that feeling of excessive gas. Uh, but we've also got some foods like beans, onions, uh, bananas, raisins, carrots. Uh, these are all foods that may increase uh, gas and obviously worsen some of those symptoms. Uh, kinetics of cymethicone. Uh, this medication is excreted in the feces as you could imagine if it's not systemically absorbed uh, it's not going to get to the kidney it's not going to get to the liver um, so we're going to uh, get rid of that medication in the feces so don't need to worry about sip enzyme interactions don't need to worry about poor renal function and accumulation uh, so that's a really really nice thing uh, with that medication all right, let's take a quick break from our sponsor and we'll wrap up with drug interactions. If you're in the market for pharmacist board certification study material like BCPS, BCGP, ambulatory care, BCMTMS, or the NAPLEX exam, go check out meded101.com slash store. We've got a growing list of resources there. Uh, we've certainly helped uh, hundreds, thousands even now uh, pass their board exam. So, Go check that out. Support the sponsor. Uh, if you're a med student, nurse, uh, any other healthcare professional listening to this podcast, uh, we've got other resources as well on pharmacology, case studies, clinical pearls, drug interactions, uh, all those links to the Amazon books and other resources you can find at meded101.com slash store, S-T-O-R-E. All right, wrapping up with drug and food interactions and I pulled food interactions here because there really aren't many drug interactions um, there is some potential evidence uh, that levothyroxine absorption can be reduced uh, so I think that's important to note uh, particularly if you get a patient taking a lot of cymethicone and particularly if they're taking it at the same time as their levothyroxine. Which again, in my mind, most patients with gas bloating type difficulties who are going to look to take cymethicone, they're probably going to do it after lunch and after their evening meal. And levothyroxine typically for most patients is taken uh, earlier in the morning. 
So with that said, I think the likelihood, you know, the evidence isn't great to begin with as far as how much it affects levothyroxine. Um, but it goes even lower in my mind when, you know, you're not taking those medications together because, again, it's, it's not a uh, systemic type drug interaction. It is a, an absorption type drug interaction because, again, cimethicone is not absorbed systemically there. And then the last thing I wanted to mention as far as uh, drug-food interactions go is really the, the food interaction. So patients who are seeking out the use of cimethicone ensure that we're doing our best to limit foods that are going to exacerbate those symptoms. Um, I listed off a bunch, but um, carbonated beverages are so common uh, out in the world today. So um, make sure patients are educated on that. They might not realize it. They might not recognize it, um, that that is contributing to their uh, gas issue. All right. Well, I think that's going to wrap up the podcast for today. Hopefully you found this episode helpful. Uh, if you did, leave us a rating review on iTunes or wherever you're listening. That's greatly appreciated. Uh, if you have comments, suggestions about medications to cover or any questions about study materials, anything like that, um, don't hesitate to reach out to me at mededucation101 at gmail.com or you can track me down on LinkedIn as well. And that'd be Eric Christensen, PharmD, BCPS, BCGP. With that, I am going to sign off for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. At Granger, we're for the ones who specialize in saving the day and for the ones who've mastered the art of keeping business moving. We offer industrial-grade supplies for every industry with same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders, all backed by real people ready to help. So you can get the right answers and products right when you need them. Call. Click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. With Lucky Land slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to. Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.